Hello you lovely people, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you've been here before. It's lovely to have you join me, I really do appreciate it. Um, if you're a new subscriber or just somebody passing by, I do a very eclectic mix of things. So if this isn't for you, have a look at some of the other videos and there might be something that I do that is for you. If there's nothing for you, there's lots of other channels out there. Please don't be mean to me just because you don't like what I do. Some people do. I know. It's strange, isn't it? I've got a Marguerite Miller 50 Art College prompt today. And the prompt is something shiny. And I thought, I know what I'm going to do. So I'm putting away the boxes and the book that I usually would use for Marguerite Miller because I'm going to make my something shiny and then we're going to put it in the collage. And the something shiny I'm going to make is on a bit of, well, you see, I was going to use that bit of card, but that bit of card's maybe too thick. Oh, I'm going to use this. This is an off, I was going to say an off cut, it's an off tear of some um, kind of textured paper. I've got this stencil, which is called Moroccan Circles by a company, a uh, UK company called Indigo Blue. I keep these on. So I'm going to take that off. Oh, it does slightly hang off. And then I'm going to use Glacial Paste in bronze, oops, sorry, bronze metal. Now I've not used this particular colour before so this is going to be exciting but look at it I'm pretty sure it's going to be shiny I've got loads on the top there I'm just going to take it off my finger and then scrape it off there and put that on I've got a feeling I've not made a very good job of this I might have to do it again because I've just got a few and it's gone underneath and it's just it's bouncing so much I've got a horrible feeling it's all gone underneath the pattern let's see scrape that back into the pot shut that up shut that up Oh no, it's okay. It's okay. So I need to leave that to dry. I'm going to go and clean off this stuff and I'll be back once that's dry. I want to leave it to dry totally naturally. So I'll be back once that's dried. We're back. This has dried. Um, it did leak a wee bit underneath, which is what I feared it was doing just because it was moving about so much. As I as I did it, the stencil itself was moving up and down on the paper just because the paper's so thick. But I'm okay with that because I can, it's actually fine. I'm fine with it. And I'm actually thinking I might just use the whole bit. Originally I thought I would tear it up and then use this as part of the collage, but now I'm thinking I'm just gonna use the whole thing because uh, I kind of like that. I might tear off a bit or I might actually include this as don't know. Do I want it right that way instead? And then, no. I like it that way. Uh, yeah, I might just, let's see if we can tear off this bit along the bottom. And then we'll use that underneath there. somehow yeah right so that bits for underneath there this is the rest of it I'm just going to tear off this bit as well mainly uh, because this is now going to be quite thick and that's quite near the edge so that bit I'm just going to tear off that bit's quite pretty though I might tear off I made a decision as you might have gathered from the fact I did this and I did this um mainly because I wanted to try this glacial paste 
because it was brand new as you saw but I made a decision that I'm not going to stick to these two boxes if I know I have something else somewhere that's going to be good I'm just gonna go get it uh, these boxes because it's, this is a year long and the boxes will change what's in them during the year just because I'll use bits and every so often I just have a big clear out and think I don't clear out this one but this one I have a big clear out and think I've had that kicking around with a maybe I'll use that off cut and I'll never and, and I know I never bits of it I think oh no I might still use that other bits I know I'm never going to use that now I've, I've had it around for a year or so I'm not going to use it there'll be other bits that that um will come along I'm not going to miss that that tends to be uh things like um see that probably won't stick it oh actually that might be quite nice in this one oh I was going to say that one won't probably won't stick it out let's get on with finding some bits shall we uh I see here this this has got a bit of shiny on as well do we want to Oh, that looks quite good, doesn't it? I'm also concerned I don't want to cover up too much of this, otherwise what's the point? I think I don't really want to tear that one up. That one might end up being used. But I think this I want to tear. Oh, okay, it's that kind of paper that doesn't really want to tear. Let's see. Look, look, it's all fibrous. Fibres going both ways. <gasps> look at that. That's cool. That's that way I want to tear it, don't I? That's a better bit. No, that's a mistake there, so we put it over that bit there oh i like that i like that let's see what else we might have we've kind of gone on a pinky thing there haven't we that's unusual there's something that's pinky oh this is oh no we could use this as a kind of focal image couldn't we Even though that butterflies. This was a, oh see, like the other side of that as well. But I'm thinking the butterfly for a wee focal image. Why do I do the whole, oh, 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 right. Oh no, like that. Let's, I'm going to take this up to the top of the page, I think. And we'll put this down the bottom of the page, I think. Yeah. Oh, we're going on a pinky vibe here. I got, oh, look at this. This is, this is from a bit of um, a scrapbooking card that had elephants on it. And this was a band actually oh, we need to cover up that bit do we want to move that up a bit then so you wanted to cover up that bit maybe oh i'm loving that loving that it needs to be over that way a bit more right so that deals with that mess there we need something down here oh this is going to this this has a feeling that it's going to come up together very quickly Oh, kind of like that. That was sent in a bit of happy mail from a swap. I made a lovely little journal with that, the stuff in that swap. That's what we were supposed to do. Actually, I haven't seen anything happening in that channel for a long time. Oh, I think of the furthest bit. That was in the same swap. I think of the furthest bit. Let's put that into that blob there I want to cover up so let's I don't need all of this I just need a bit of this coming down from here to cover up that blob I 
one, two, three, four, five. I think I'm done with that. Wow, that was quick, wasn't it? I'm going to have to stand up and look through the camera because I can't even believe that's finished. Oh, it is. That's just, it's quite simple, but it's so effective because it's its almost, well, it's not quite monochrome because I've got the black in there as well, but it's because it's the pinks and the golds and something shiny. I'm going to stick that down. Definitely don't need anything behind because it's already filling up most of the page. Um, I suppose I could put something there, but I'm not inclined to because of, yeah, unless I took off a bit of that and put a bit of that there. But why? Why would I do that? Oh, because it would just be so cool. So if I had that bit that was underneath like that, then this bit wouldn't be. Do I put that bit up there like that? Or does that just look a bit naff? Maybe it goes that way? No, nope, that way. It's not gold enough, is it? It needs gold the whole way along. That one's too big. See, that could still go there like that. That could go... Oh, and then it could go over the top of that. Oh, oh. But then we're on, on an even number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three... Four, five, six, yes. We're on an even number. Eek! Um, must have something pink somewhere. Oh, I could, I could do a bit of... Oh, he is pink. This isn't vintage, though. I saw this when I was going to pull out a bit of fabric. Look at this. Ooh. Ooh. That's quite cool, isn't it? I quite like that. Let's go for that because I like the fact it cuts across everything there. Right, I wasn't expecting to use that, but I have done. I'm going to stick this down and I'll be back. There we go, all stuck down. I really like this. And some of you might say, well, where's the focal image? Where's the focal image? I think the nature of this one, it's not about a focal image. The nature of this one, it's about um, the, the different shades of pinkish and the way that the gold interplays with the pink and the shapes. You know, you've got different shapes going on, but they're still, you've got the circle, but then you've got the chevron that actually echoes this circle in a peculiar way because of the way the circles are happening so I don't think it needs a focal image I think a focal image is going to fight with this particular um, one which is why I ended up not putting the butterfly on because the butterfly then became the, the focal image and actually it's about the shiny it's something shiny it's about the shiny it's about the gold and the the brass I think this no bronze this was called wasn't it but I really like this one I'll have to leave the pages open until this has set. I used um, three and one to stick down this because uh, it's a bit of suede, so otherwise it wouldn't stay put. But I need to make sure that's totally set before I I shut it up. You may. So until next time, you take care, keep crafting. Thank you. You are so special to me. Bye for now.